So we're looking at the My Digital SSD BP4 enclosure, Bulletproof 4 MSATA enclosure with a USB 3 support and UASP. UASP is uh, uh, SCSI over uh, USB, SCSI over USB, which is the, the latest and greatest protocol for transferring data over USB 3 from, from drives, the old BO, I think it was the BOP protocol was a little bit slower. So you get a, a more speed with UASP out of this. So basically what you're going to be able to do with this is build yourself something like this, very lightweight um, SSD based USB 3 drive. This is the My Digital SSD OTG product. And what we're going to do using this and an MSATA is to build our own. So basically what you're getting here is you're getting the case with the controller and that will take an MSATA 25mm uh, or 50mm drive. Now I'm going to be using um, my digital SSD BP4 uh, 50mm uh, unit here and we're going to build that in and I'll show you how to build that in. Before we do that though let's see what else is in the packaging because uh, my digital SSD usually provide everything that's needed. So there's the USB 3 cable and they've also supplied the ingredients necessary to put the device together. So uh, I've got a M2, sorry, an MSATA uh, 50 mil drive here. Now the idea is that maybe you've got one of these that's come out of uh, maybe a broken laptop broken ultrabook or you've been able to source one cheaply and uh, this is a great way to make a really fast USB uh, 3 drive that's super lightweight and of course very ragged as well because there's no moving parts and it's really simple to build. Just slot the SATA M SATA in at an angle there and what you're going to do is you're just going to put it push it down and put the two screws in at the top there. So I've just popped the screws in the top there and I'm going to push it down and then it's a little fiddly with this tiny, tiny screwdriver, but it is possible to get those screws in there. It's not actually that easy because I think you're actually threading the plastic holes as you do this. So it takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of strength and care just to get those screwed right down. So you've got a heat gasket here as well. Just take the back, uh, the sticky back off that, place that over the USB 3 connector at the end there. And you'll see I've just placed that across the top there. So make sure you snap the unit together tightly all the way around and uh, makes it easier just to put the two screws in, one there and one there. And there we go. There's the new eDrive, formatted and ready to use. In fact, ready to test. Let's see if we can run a Crystal Disk Mark on this, see what sort of performance we get out of it. So we've got the enclosure connected to an Ultrabook here. We're gonna run a Crystal Disk Mark. We'll run it uh, with three repetitions at one gig. And we'll let that run through and I'll show you the scores. So that's the result for the My Digital SSD BP4E 512 gig version with a peak read speed 406 megabytes a second is excellent. 4K write speed is I would say average. And uh, 4K sorry 4K write speed is good. 4K read speed is a little bit average, but uh, in general it's looking really nice on that BP4E. So certainly the controller in that enclosure is is capable of handling uh, high speed SSDs. Here's uh, an older BP4, uh, 240 gig module inside the enclosure. Results, uh, well at least the high speed read is, a sequential read is about the same. And there's that 4K um, read speed, 13 megabytes, which again is, is average and uh, write speed on the 4K block size is 31 megabytes. So, that's pretty good as well. So the enclosure uh, well capable of uh, providing um, good throughputs. Maybe the 4K uh, read speed could be a bit better. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly drop this BP4 inside an Ultrabook 
and uh, see if there's any difference there. Now there's the uh, crystal mark figure for the BP4E inside a MSATA to SATA adapter inside an Ultrabook. So the figures aren't that different. There's some better headline figures there. The read speed is up by about 10%. Um, the write 4K speed I believe is a little bit better as well. But in general, there's that 10 megabyte per second 4K read speed, which is the is the limit of the drive itself actually so yeah this is um this is a cheaper drive the bp4e it won't compare to the the bp4 um full fat version so you're getting uh, a little less uh speed on the bp4e than than you would on, on the high-end uh, ssds but anyway the last thing i wanted to show you is a quite an interesting demo it's a fun one to show it's uh, just basically throwing big video files around between two ssd drives over usb3 so we've got the USB 3.0 drive attached to an Ultrabook here. This is the USB 3.0 drive. Obviously, desktop over there is the Ultrabook. Let's transfer a file here. We've got a uh, two gigabyte Windows 10 installation here. I'm just gonna have to uh, overwrite the existing file. Let's watch how quickly that transfers. That's averaging, oh, it started at over 260 megabytes per second. It's dropped to 160, now rising to around 100. 80 megabytes per second so look like an average of about 200 megabytes a second which is 1.6 gigabits per second it's incredibly fast let's uh, let's take a file from the USB 3 drive put it onto the desktop we'll have to overwrite the existing file and uh, oh I can't even get that in quick enough before you <laughs> before it disappears that was way over 200 mega bytes per second let me just do that again replace the existing file there you go averaging well over 200 megabytes per second so that's that's the advantage there not only have you got uh, great uh, you know imaging speed there you've also got fantastic transfer speed if you're doing if you're working with big video files ISOs games this is really the way to transfer files So that's a look at the uh, My Digital SSD USB 3 enclosure for MSATA drives with UASP support for the fastest transfer speeds you can get. Really lightweight, the total, th total uh, unit weighs around 55 grams without that cable. It's like 27 grams, no, 30 grams I measured. Really fast. And look at how you uh, um, put that together and just a few tests there we had the bp3 no the bp4e the economy half terabyte drive and we've got the bp4 240 gig or 256 gig i can't remember which one in here as well so really really good uh, option there for my digital ssd i've also got some other drives here that i'm testing we've got this uh, ngff usb3 drive as well which is um has an aluminium casing which is really nice i'll put a video of that up as well and i've got an ngff that goes in there as well we've also got an ngff adapter to msata and uh, i'll try and get an article up about the uh the bp4e as well the half a terabyte ssd that uh, my digital ssd are offering as well that's a look if you have any questions let me know in the comments below Thanks to my digital SSD for sending those over. Always appreciate that. Um, I've been testing the devices for quite a while now. We've got uh, quite a few little bits and pieces from my digital SSD that I'm really happy with. Obviously, long-term test devices here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.